Mark is stunned when he hears of this latest night of horror. I felt angry. I felt concerned. I felt troubled. What is going on? Gonna miss you guys. Wish there was another way. Sean said, listen, I have Sorry. to find some place else to live. Uh, Jessica's not really comfortable here, given the experience that she had. He was quite surprised that we needed to move out, but wasn't surprised that we actually saw something. It's almost like he knew there was something in the house. Mark feels compelled to act, launching his own paranormal investigation, aided by tips and guidance from books, TV shows, and the internet. I've always been a person of action. I didn't want to have new tenants come in if there was going to be some situation. I developed a plan based on EVPs or electronic voice phenomena. Who are you? Who are you? When I say away, away. I came upon what looked like a place of sacrifice or a, a very ritualistic altar with a dead bird, carcass, cross, and an empty bottle. If this was voodoo, I mean, what was my house turned into? Day and night, Mark wanders his home in the hope of making contact with the spirits that have brought so much misery and fear. Who are you? Why are you here? What do you want? Who are you? That for me was the moment where I realized that my house was haunted. What do you want? I knew that I was in serious trouble. 